Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, well, thought I'd make a, at least another video for this. Um, what I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to keep, you know, what I'm going to try and do is I'm trying to make some of these videos like a week or so in advance. So by the time this one comes out, it will be the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I'm going to actually get one for Thanksgiving Thursday, because you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, if you... Uh, if you're from, if you're in another country, Thanksgiving is a holiday that they celebrate in my country in the third, like the third week of November. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, let's get right back into um, Lost Bell Four. Okay. So we're starting the new section right now. Okay, and we got nothing but berserkers. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna use that team I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and use um that's that's the team I used in the last one. Right there. Um to 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 defeat um to defeat uh what's his face? Um dude uh god what's his name? William Tell. Ha! <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little uh, about ready to go home and go to bed because I am just that tired right now. I was called. Basically, what happened was I was called last night by my job, and um, well, one of my uh, one of my coworkers had to call off, so they called they called my normal relief in early to cover for that for his shift from, from, he normally works from 9 to 5, but they decided to make it from 10 to 6 because, well, I'm there from 6, 6 a.m., and they decided to go ahead and do a 12-hour shift, so they called my normal relief in at 10, also making him work from 9 to 10, he'll be double time at, at from, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., <clears throat> so they had him come in from 10 to 2, and basically it's like, okay, hey, uh, hey, Sean, you know, because his name is Sean. Hey, Sean. You know, so uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll. Well, first of all, when he got there, I was like, "Hey, morning, Jarrell." Because <laughs> you know, the the guy's name is the guy the call of his name is Jarrell. We, I like I like to make that kind of joke. Anywho, um, and of course they were calling me. They were calling me Jarrell, and I'm all like, I'm a taller, lighter Jarrell. Because <laughs> uh, you know, first of all. Drawls kind of draws a short black guy, okay. Uh, me, I'm kind of a tall white guy, so yeah. Okay, so let's just get get right back into it. I'm gonna use all foreigners in this one. Section thirteen: Price of Laws, Divine Judgment, Lumi. Okay. Oh, we're getting closer, getting closer to another reset. How's it going? Not bad. Many of them are in good shape thanks to farming and hunting. I doubt I can train them each to kill Kali alone, but I'm sure I can teach them to survive in battle. Oh, by the way, the update may, the up, uh, update happened and uh, these borders on the sides are gone in most cases of the game. All right, it's time for lunch. Wait, let me do that again. All right, it's time for lunch. Let's make sure none of you have too much to eat. Here's your lunch, Father. Thanks. Guess what? I'll make it today. Auntie even said I did a great job. Isn't that great? Thanks. Also, um, you know how the anniversary of my birth is coming up soon? Her birthday. N never mind. It's nothing. See you later. Oh, it's you. Hi, guys. Hi, Asha. You brought your father's lunch. You brought your father's lunch? That's so responsible of you. Hehe. <laughs> how are things in town? Really different. It's so surprising. My father's spending a lot more time 
here now. It feels really lively too, though. In other places, it's really um quiet. It looks like the town is being split cleanly in half. There are more people who support fighting back against the Kali, but not everyone has joined in. On the one side, we have the people from Duval, along with the people they inspired to join them. And on the other, there are the people who are still holding on to their old beliefs. <clears throat> I've noticed a lot of people watching from a distance and whispering among themselves. Who knows, who knows what they might try to pull? There are going to be even more Kali as the yoga cycle goes on. I like to think that more people will describe, will decide to join us once they see us fighting. Our ultimate goal is to reduce Arjuna's power by getting people to realize how independent, how imperfect and unnecessary of a god he is. So I certainly hope a bunch more people will decide to join us, or we'll be in big trouble. We should be hoping to win over the rest of this town, then keep the momentum to win over, the, over other people here. We can't devote all our time convincing convincing those I holding out. We also need to train with those who, who have joined us. Oh, I got an itch on my arm here. Whatever else may happen, we can't let anyone else be killed as long as we're in a position, position to help. Looks like you're pretty much over it then, huh? I don't know about that. But I do know what is. What the, but I do know what it is I need to be doing right now. What's more, I know now that there's something else I need to keep my eye on. There's someone already walking the path I need to follow. I may not fully grasp it, but I understand well enough to know that no longer have the, I no longer have the option of of hedging my bets. Is she looking at me. Hold up. I think you're going to have to postpone the training for now. Wait, hold up. I think it's, hold up. I think you're going to postpone the training for now. I'm seeing a number of signals walking their way toward the town. Looks like more Kali. It would seem they're all warmed up and ready, ready to go. Now that the, now that's the final day of the day, Devapura Yuga. Here they come. And there they are. All right, everyone's ready to fight. Prepare for battle. But remember, your ultimate goal is to survive. Don't try to be a hero. We'll be handling the front line, so there shouldn't be. We'll be handling the front line, so there shouldn't be any issue with them joining us. Preparing next for immediate combat. All systems green. I'll try to draw as many of them towards, towards me as I can. Awaiting your orders, master. See the uh, full screen right there. Okay. Ouch.
Oh man, double curse on uh, on MHX X. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to do with it. It might take out that first one. Yep, that first one's done. Okay. <laughs> Funny, because that's one of the things that she says for her NP. Double X dynamic. Man, that's a lot of cursing. Uh, no. No, I wouldn't roll. Oh, wait, that might do. Might help. only affect um yeah might as well okay that took care of that one Okay, good, good, good. Good job, ladies. All right. Huh, got some more of these silver arrowhead things. I mean, or whatever arrowhead things. Hmm, I see. So they're going after that. After faith, the Achilles heel of every god that shows themselves before mortals. How delightfully cold blooded. They could be just the surgical strike they need. Even if they do, don't have time to pull it off, they're certainly making things more interesting. A god that always believes is a little more than a doomsday device. No one, even ordinary people, can destroy it that. Still, I have to wonder. Are they aware that everything they're doing may ironically speed up the whole paradise about without people living here? There you are. Ugh, seeing you pisses me off. Ah, hello, Ashvataman. What brings you here? You know why I'm here, damn it. I'm here to clean up your mess. You've been taking, those, taking things Arjuna race along with their owners at the end of the Kali Yuga. And putting them back to reminding the other humans that they exist, haven't you? I have. What about it? Couple years, we get her as a writer. I was under the impression that I was going doing exactly what your god would want me to. Wait, is she gonna be a writer? Or is she gonna be an assassin? I 
can't remember which one. There's nothing wrong with rooting out people holding on to mess unnecessary attached to their defective past lives, their defective past lives. Grant I won't I Grant I won't deny I enjoy the look of despair they get when they realize they can't even remember who they lost. But the point is, I'm helping to find their undesirables so we can end the U.S. I was ahead of the schedule. I don't care how you get your kicks, but it's hard not to be pissed at how much more work you're making for me. Maybe one thing if you were just defectively getting in the way, but now that you're making this much trouble for us, I was told to handle you directly. Huh? Just a minute. Now explain to me how my work is called with being anything less than helpful. Particulars aside, it should be exactly in line with, with what Arjuna wants. Your thick-headed god who's so drunk on his divinities that he's forgotten what human feelings are or should be comp complimenting like. What an incredibly capable woman you are. You're the goddess I've been searching for my whole life. Your alter ego friend Arjuna all ab Your alter ego friend told Arjuna all about how your actions are directly fueling the resistance movement that has been gaining traction. That's really the one bit where I sympathize with you. It sucks having your friends sell you out. Now I see what's going on here. So that's how the monk wants to play this. What an ugly, petty man. That's the difference he'll never make up between him and the other and on Omoyoriji. Putting aside the question of whether it's more trouble to deal with an arrogant bastard who'd knowingly keep a deadly parasite around just because he can, or a rotten parasite himself who will try to murder you outright in an ambush. A mere servant thinking he can kill me? The idea is so infuriating. It's almost depressing. He calls himself a destroyer. Just because he's able to take out the other gods and order a, around a new a few regent servants? Ridiculous. I'll never lay down and die for a being who can't even truly become a pure destroyer of worlds, let alone one of his pathetic lackeys. That emperor who embodied all of humanity was one thing, but I can destroy a mere warrior like you with just a few Bites. Well, what do you know? Guess you've got a bit of rage in you yourself. Fine by me. Go and get as mad as you want. I'm pretty fierce I've got to put an end to someone I have no desire to kill. As your friend must have put it, aren't you just all we need to end this world? There's no room for a walking disaster like you here. Okay, well, what was that all about? Okay, uh, don't no, don't know what that was all about, but uh, okay. But that's gonna be this video. Until next time, this is all Jazz saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.